Yeah, hi, and my name is Neil Meekins, and I'm from the Momentum Life, and I want to talk to you today a little bit about age, okay? Now, I don't mean age as in how old you are, I mean age as in these things, advanced glycative or glycation end products, so yeah, advanced glycation end products. Now, what and why are advanced glycation end products important to you? Okay, well, they are extremely important to you, okay? And here's why, okay? Advanced glycation end products, or ages, let's just call them ages, yeah? These are formed in the body, in the bloodstream, when fat or proteins uh, meet sugar, and that's called glycation, okay? But they are also formed um, when you cook food, okay? So when you cook food, especially when you, you heat it quite high, like when you're frying or grilling or barbecuing, and you create um, this, this stress inside the thing that you're cooking. So think of it like when you cook a piece, when you, when you, um, uh, when you toast some bread, okay? You put the bread in the toaster and you take it out and it's quite black and brown on the top. Well, the blacker and browner it is, the more ages you've created. But the quicker you heated that up, the more ages you've created, yeah? So if you stop the toast after, stop the bread cooking after, you know, a minute, yeah, it's very, very light. So you have less ages on there. Now, if you leave it in there for three minutes and it starts to smoke and sets off the smoke alarm, and then it's, it's black and like harder and thicker, then you've got way more ages on there. Now, um, ages increase, uh, the cooking increases the levels of ages by, um, 10, 10 to a 10 to hundred fold, okay? So um, we get more higher temperatures cooking the foods when we, when exactly like I said, when we grill, bake, fry, toast, we barbecue it, we roast it, okay? Um, and the foods which are worse, that, which have the highest level of ages, are foods higher in proteins and fats, okay? So, Obviously, this is meat, animal products, okay? Eggs, cheese, nuts, butter, oils, okay? They all have higher level of ages, and then when they're cooked, they have even higher level of ages, okay? And they, these are very damaging to the body. So what do too many ages do to our bodies, okay? So ages, high levels of ages, like I said, when it's low levels, our bodies can reduce those ages by using enzymes and antioxidants to get rid of those ages, okay? But when we are bombarded with too many of them, um, these high levels cause oxidative stress and inflammation in the body, okay? And this has been shown to lead to diabetes, heart disease, kidney failure, Alzheimer's, premature aging, arthritis, and long-term it can lead to um, damage on, in all the organs of the body including the nervous system and your fascial system, yeah? Or your connective tissue system and muscles. So all everything inside you when you ache and you don't know why because you think you're getting older, okay? But actually, you're creating so much oxidative stress inside our bodies that we can't remove it, that it's, it starts to hurt and bring us down, okay? And, and part of me doing this is because I, I work in London as a therapist and I see people, I, and I, I see people with complicated, painful, chronic painful conditions. And I've recognized that over the years, just giving someone exercise and manual therapy techniques and movement and um, meditation and stretching and yoga, I do all these kind of things with people and specialist stuff as well. But if you're not looking after yourself in the first place, if you're not doing the right things, like what you put into your mouth, you're just gonna take two steps back for every one step forward, yeah? Now, I'm not talking about this from a diet perspective, okay? Um, I'm not talking about it on how you feel in a certain way, okay? But this is long-term effects of health and aging and how you are going to take your wellness on throughout your life, yeah, throughout your life. It's something that really, really interests me. Um, I, I remove these foods out of my, um, my daily regime, yeah? I've basically gone meat-free. For, for years I was a meat eater, and I'm not, I'm not 
beating up on anybody. I don't care what you eat. Uh, what I do care about is, is you looking after yourself when you've got the information better. You know, don't believe me, go out and find this self, this, this, look this stuff up for yourself. Go on to Google, search it out, read up on it. There are tons of um, scientific papers all about this information. You can find it everywhere, okay? Look it up. So, now you know that the um, cooking the foods in certain ways, frying and grilling, etc., and barbecuing, is gonna give you worse problems from ages than, um, uh, especially if you're cooking animal products and cheeses and things like this, and it's going to lead to a whole host. And let's face it, who don't you know nowadays who hasn't got or hasn't been affected by some kind of autoimmune disease and problem, which many years ago just they just weren't around, or they were, you know, per head of population, they were nothing. I mean, you know, in terms of cancer, I think it's one in three, almost one in two people at some point in their life are going to have cancer. And this is just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And we're just all so stupidly um, thinking that we can go and have chemotherapy, and, and and it doesn't work. These things don't work. And you don't ever want to be in that situation where you even have to think about. Um, happen to you today. and it affects us all you know all these, it affects everybody one person if one person gets a heart disease it affects everyone around them the people at work you know the loved ones everybody it affects everybody it's not just the person that carries the problem so health care starts with self-care first you've got to look after yourself first you've got to educate yourself you've got to understand that the doctor's surgery is probably in my opinion the last place you ever need to go to you need to exhaust all other possibilities first. If you're not looking after yourself first, then honestly, shame on you. Yeah, shame on you, it's your life, okay? Don't be beholden to other people who are gonna put the ways that they think might work onto you when you can start doing this for yourself straight away. Um, and I, I walk that walk, I do everything I can for myself to keep me out of the doctor's surgery. And I gave up eating meat a while back because after years of doing it, Stop doing it, realize what it was doing to me, and it's changed me. But like I say, I don't care what you eat, do it in the best way possible. So, there are studies which show a decrease in inflammation, both in animals and humans, okay? Oxidative stress goes down when you decrease the amount of ages that you take in per day, okay? Now, how many ages do you need per day? Well, they are measured in what they call kilo units per day. So. The average on one paper was 15,000 kilo units per day, and that was in New York in America. Okay, so that's a Western, typical Western style diet. Um, I would say that's pretty high personally. Okay, I would come down to 12,000 or 10,000 and under kilo units per day. I'll try and leave a link down below um, so that you can go to the paper which tells you exactly, you know, gives you an idea of what foods contain how many kilo units. And remember, it's not just the food, it's the way that you cook the food, okay? So if you grill a piece of chicken, three ounce piece of chicken gives you 5,200 kilo units in that one three ounce grilled piece of chicken. That's almost half your daily intake in one grilled piece of chicken, okay? Um, a three ounce baked potato of the same size is 70 kilo units. So you've got 5,200 against 70. This is a massive difference, okay? If you're still with your chicken, instead of grilling it, steam it. Boil your food more. Cut down the amount of times that you use oil to fry things in. You know, just use water. Just use water, yeah, that's all you need. You don't need these oils and everything. Even olive oils, okay? And coconut oils. Yeah, don't believe all the hype about the coconut oils. It's Highly, you know, it's fat. We want to reduce the amount of fat and protein that we are cooking at higher temperatures so we reduce the age contents that are going into our bodies that our bodies can't deal with because it's too oxidative. That oxidative stress attacks our cells, our cells become damaged, and then that starts to back up inside our bodies and it starts to lead to all kinds of different diseases and problems which are essentially unique to you and me. 
Uh, everybody's different, everybody's system's gonna break down in a different way and cause a different problem. And let's face it, there are too many problems out there. Way too many problems, okay? Eat more veg, eat more fruit, eat more grains, eat more legumes. If you're gonna eat dairy, eat a low-fat variety, okay? Believe it or not, but changing your taste buds just takes a bit of time. You can get used to anything, you just need to be consistent, okay? It's like taking sugar out of your diet, okay? Um, reducing sugar down, you can go down to no sugar per day virtually, I'm talking about um, uh, sucrose, not, not fruit sugar, um, by just uh, keeping going, being consistent, and you, you can improve that. Okay, so, just to go over again, sorry about the little skip. Advanced glycation end products. These are things which are formed in food and worse on the food when you fry it, when you grill it, when you barbecue it, and it's much higher, way higher in protein and fat foods. Meat, cheese, eggs, butter, oils, nuts. If you're gonna cook these foods and have them on a regular basis, make provision to boil or steam the foods as much as you can. Or have it raw. Not sure how much meat I'd want to eat raw, but uh, with more eggs, but, but there you go. That's, that's for you to find out. I don't touch that stuff anymore, okay? You may just be able to let your body start repairing itself, okay? By reducing the amount you're throwing in, okay? Choose to find how many kilo units per day is suitable for you, and think about lowering the amount of kilo units of AGEs you're taking in per day. And that's it, okay? So there you go, you've learned about AGEs today, you've learned about what they do inside the body, you know that they are compounds of inflammation, they're infl inflammatory markers. Oh, sorry, you have inflammatory markers. And uh, um, yeah, if you just uh, try and limit down the intake of this food, uh, you could always go and get some blood work done to, uh, um, to assess where you're starting from. And uh, again, in maybe a month or two, um, to see if those inflammatory markers do reduce down. Uh, some people will take longer than others, but uh, uh, you know it's a good start just to take this information, go and read it, and just reduce the amount of um, cooking at high heat you are doing, and see if you uh, uh, see if you feel a difference or test for the difference. So remember, I'm Neil Meekins, Momentum Life. We keep moving forward. This is why it's the Momentum Life. We keep moving forward. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to. I'll be giving more information out about things that you can do to help you through life on a wellness and health perspective. Um, and uh, yeah, if you like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. And healthcare starts with self care. Okay.